Saludos a todos nuestros televidentes en quienique.tv y también a nuestros lectores en quienique.com en esta entrevista que vamos a hacer hoy a Corey Law, uno de los basquetbolistas más importantes de los Harlem Globetrotters que van a venir aquí a Colombia a visitarnos y a darnos un poco de todo lo que está en su espectáculo. How does it feel to be the guy that has nine Guinness World Records? Um, it feels really good. Um, you know, growing up as a kid, I used to always watch, uh, read the Guinness World Record books. Um, you know, and it's something that me and my classmates would do all the time growing up. I never thought I'd have the opportunity to actually be in that book until my life changed in 2013 when I joined the Globe Charters and I had the opportunity to set my first Guinness World Record. And um, I went on and set a, quite a few records, some of them with my teammates, some of them personal individual records. But uh, there's always something fun to talk about. And uh, it makes me in a small, small group of people in the world that has a Guinness World Record. So it's an amazing feeling. feeling. How do you feel about the mail that you received from the Globe Trotters team in order to be part of the team around the world? Um, when I first got the email, I didn't know how to feel. Like I said, I, it wasn't on my radar. I was just finishing college. And, um, you know, I didn't know exactly what I do, what I want to do, but like having the opportunity to continue to play basketball and make money playing basketball and travel the world, um, like who turns down the globe trotter? So, um, like I said, you know, growing up as a kid, you know, we all have these dreams of being a basketball player or whatever you want to do, being it at the highest level. And um, now it's like it's a double dream because I'm doing basketball at the highest level, but also traveling the world and entertaining and smiles on millions of people, people's faces so it's an amazing feeling what are we going to see in the show here in colombia from the blog tourist team okay so first of all I'll just start off colombia i'm so excited to come to colombia this is going to be my first time playing in colombia um i had several friends that go visit colombia and tell me so many amazing things about the about colombia um so but in the game you can expect to see some of the most amazing feats you'll ever see, whether it's long trick shots, um, four point shots, which the globe charters, we invented ourselves. Um, some of the high flying dunks, we have the best dunkers in the world and some family wholesome entertainment. Um, you know, the fun thing I like to say about the globe charters is you don't have to like basketball to enjoy a globe charters game. You don't have to be a kid. You don't have to be an adult. You can be nine to 90 years old and have the time of your life. And that's what sets the globe charters apart. Um, you know, we could be playing in the middle of a basketball game and it's getting intense and I may see somebody I want to dance with. So I'm going to do that. And that's what I like to do. Um, and I enjoy having fun and making basketball fun and making it enjoyable for all ages and people. What do you know and what did you think about Colombia? Like, what, what did you ask to your colleagues about our country? So, you know, uh, many of my colleagues honestly haven't even played in Colombia. It's been almost 20 years since the Globetrotters played in Colombia. Um, and I think the longest globe trotter we've had that's active right now is maybe 14 or 15 years that we have active. So I don't know if any of my teammates have been, but I have some friends that's been and they told me so many great things. Me personally, when I go to a new country, I do three things. I taste their food. I dance to their music. You know, and I just I just have a good time. So it's, it's, I, I can't wait. Like, I can't wait to, you know, be a part of the country, dance to their music, taste their food, interact and speak their language. Um, so it's going to be exciting. I'm going to use my Spanish skills. I know a little bit of Spanish. I'm going to speak a little Spanish in the show. So that's what I do. Taste their food, speak their language and dance to their music. And I can't wait to check those boxes off once I get to Colombia. What is the most exciting thing about being part of the Glove Trotters team? Oh, wow. That's a great question. Um, you know, that's it's it's hard to say because like my my job, if you can call it a job, you know, but it's, it's so exciting and there's so many different exciting things. But like right now, I'm excited to come to Colombia because I've never been there before. I've never interacted with people from Colombia. Like, so I'm excited to come there and play. So the exciting thing is being able to travel the world. And then, you know, then that's me speaking selfishly. But the impact I have and the smiles I get to bring and the joy that I bring to the world is something, you know, you can't take for granted. And Um, the last two years, I, I, I realized that because, you know, before COVID, you know, everything was normal. But once that happened and basketball was taken away from us, um, I felt like the world needed the globe trotters. Um, the world needed to smile. We needed that enjoyment. And I'm so glad to be back. So the most exciting thing is actually being able to perform and play basketball. And I'm excited to come to Columbia to do that. Okay, Corey, thank you so much for your time uh, to be with us here in Kenny. And I hope to see you soon here in Colombia. Uh, I can't wait. I love it. <laughs>